hitting the pause button in life just a little bit. Got work here in a little bit, so hoping I have a good shift. Just sharing my life with you guys just a little bit. We got World Series Baseball 2K2 right now on the Sega Dreamcast. How you doing? Yeah, just been kind of spacing out these reviews, just trying to live my life and do different things. I've been uh, reading and stuff like that. I'll talk about that here in a minute. But uh, yeah, here's the game case. You know how we do. Yeah. World Series Baseball 2K2. We did World Series Baseball 2K1. We were talking about baseball stuff like, uh, you know, baseball movies and stuff like that. Uh, isn't it weird how people put the little black stuff on their face? I guess that keeps the sun out of their eyes. Um, I don't know. Uh, Michael Keaton's face looks like a glove. You know? It, he looks like leather face. Like his face is made out of leather. And, um, yeah, I've been reading this book called I Don't Want to Talk About It, and I recommend it because it's shedding some light on, um, you know, trauma and uh, societal expectations on men and just how unfair it is and just, you know, this uh, covert and overt depression shedding a whole lot of light on, uh, you know, just to how the formative years is kind of, uh, it can be traumatic for all of us and how society just makes it worse. But those are just my thoughts. But, yeah, World Series Baseball 2K2, man. We're going to put on our uh, baseball gear. And uh, there was this pinball machine that I had. Uh, well, I didn't have it, but um, I, I remember this uh, little arcade that I used to go to, and there was this little baseball arcade thing. I'd like to show a picture of that because, um, actually, that same machine is in my town because we have this new arcade that showed up like a year or two ago. That's always awesome. I am listening to The Chap. This is their first album. Uh, debuted in like 2003. But um, I recommend The Horse. If you can get your hands on it. You can get some of the songs. One of them One of them is entitled I Got Flattened by a Pig Farmer. Very interesting, um, eclectic kind of uh, experimental band. They're, they're European. They're from Europe. And uh, yeah, we're not really talking about baseball. I'm just kind of excited to be here. I've been tying... Uh, I've been playing... Some Xbox original games like Sphinx and The Cursed Mummy. Been trying to space out my life, just trying to uh, enjoy a little bit. A uh, little bit of Conquer Live and Reloaded last night. Just a little bit, trying to get uh, past that game. This is a funny game. A lot of adult humor, very awesome stuff. Been missing out on that because I never grew up with an N64, so I didn't ever play the original. Psychonauts, just a little bit. There's going to be another Psychonauts 2, I, I believe. And... Yeah, the Sphinx is actually going to be backwards compatible for the Xbox One, which is ironic and weird because, like, you can only play, like, 20 Xbox original games or something like that on the Xbox One. It's like backwards compatibility keeps getting worse and worse, but at least they're doing it. So there's that. Um, baseball, baby. Yeah, this is a long intro. Yeah, let's get into World Series Baseball 2K1, 2K2, because... You know, I'm keeping you, and we're going to not talk about baseball probably while we are reviewing this. So, yeah, yeah. Good old Sega Sports Dreamcast with that annoying logo on it. Baseball for the masses. Yeah, I adjusted the audio and stuff. I'm guessing it's good. Hey, I think that's Mark McGuire, that's who it is. Wasn't there some sort of controversy with him or Sammy Sosa or whatever? I just don't remember. I don't remember baseball people. There's baseball people for sure. There's basketball people. Like Shaquille O'Neal. He's going to be the spokesperson for Papa Jan. Isn't it funny when people just uh, invest in stuff? They invest in stock and company and then they uh, they do what they do. Just gonna point up into the sky like it means something. If you really try to analyze people's uh, body language, sometimes you come up with more questions than answers. We got World Series Baseball 2K2. That guy again. I was thinking that this guy wins the Sega Dreamcast award for being on two 
covers of two subsequent games. So, you know, I, the William sisters are upset because of that. Demo movie like we do. Who needs a real Major League Baseball when you can just uh, play this game and look at that uh, graphic? It's very neat. Good baseball physics. Sometimes you got to knock off the feces off your shoes, off your cleats. Are they cleats or are they just shoes? Tudge tacos? I thought it said fudge tacos. Beef, bean, chicken, and feces. <laughs> like all meat has traces of feces in them. It's like bacteria. It's like unavoidable. We all eat a little bit of poo in our lives. It's embarrassing. Unless you're a psycho vegan. I need to be a vegan. I'm jealous. I've been vegan in moments of my life. Are we in Yankee Stadium? I guess so. So there's Yankees right there. Hey, I've seen this kind of thing. This is like a NFL 2K type uh, stuff. You know, use the analog stick there. Let's just do quick start and not worry about it. I don't care about this game. And you shouldn't either. Shame on you. Shame him. Shame him. I watch too much Djibouti dubs. That stuff is hilarious. Too much cursing, though. I wouldn't advise kids to watch it. <laughs> Peter pop off in his miracle water. Yeah. Oh, have I mentioned that Xbox original is amazing? Because it is. Okay. Am I? Okay. All right. I think it's right trigger because the last game. What? No. It's not doing anything. Okay, it's A button. <laughs> Access denied. No, no, no. Access denied. He brought shame to his family. Uh, this one is harder to control than the other one. Just from looking at it right now. Ah, I'm not even sure if the bat is coming anywhere close to the ball. At least you get to look at an advertisement for Tudge Tacos, which is always good. Is that just a fictional taco chain? Or is there a Tudge Tacos in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota? Or whatever. You strike out in the game, you strike out in life. Try to hit on that girl, and she's like, no. And you just uh, wallow in depression for years. It must be nice being approached as a female, because they're, they're not taught to approach, and... Uh, it really does take its toll. Like, it wrecks your self-esteem to always be the one to approach and have society expect you to do that. Because at some point, you just kind of quit trying. Or if you try to get attention, you just do it in uh, covert ways. You know. Social dynamics are very thorny. And it just wrecks men's esteem. Like the, we got like compounded issues that a lot of men don't even want to address. It's just nothing but suppression. This incredible amount of suppression, and then when they finally face their demons, it's like a tsunami. It's like a big old wall. You know, it's just, it's just compressed air that comes out all at once. Oh, I think I'm uh, actually throwing at this point. Okay, let me, uh, let me just go down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Very fine-tuned analog stick thing. You gotta just kind of hold it in place. Kind of reminds me of a cool, cool tune, and how that dynamic with um, you know, just kind of yeah, just the like as you can see, it's just kind of really like I let go of the analog stick, and it's just you know, kind of hard to say with the lag of this thing. You know, let's, let's, uh, throw him an easy one just to see him crack the ball. Nobody's hit the ball yet. Most boring gameplay ever. 
Put it right in smack down in the middle. He's going to hit it. See, I told you. Oh, hey, I'm actually moving the guy. How do you... Okay, you, you lunge with, like, the A button. I'm a panda, and I know it. I'm a panda, and I know it. Okay, I'm able to kind of move the characters. I think there's a little bit of a hope and a prayer. I did a 6.5 for the other game. The graphics are about the same. Look at the crowd. It's just crowd physics are the same. Um, maybe slightly worse. They look farther away. Um, looks like they have pretty good character models, and the graphics looks pretty good. Pretty good for a sports game. Um, you know, the nature and the field and the grass and stuff looks cool. I guess you pick it up with the X button because I think I scooped it up with the X button. Okay. Don't know what I'm doing, but at least I'm doing something. I gave the other one a 6.5. I'll just give the other one, uh, this one, a 7 because, um, number one, I don't care about this game franchise, really, but I am able to control the characters just a little bit more. And that, that kind of makes the difference. I think this one's just slightly more playable, perhaps more fun. If you pay, hey, actually hit the ball. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right, X button, X button, X button. Okay. Um, yeah. So, straight seven, do I recommend uh, only to sports people? Not really recommended, just... Uh, Play real baseball. That's that's where the meat and potatoes are. That guy grinning right there is how I feel compared to the other game. The other one was just more of a frown. This one's more of a grin. Just maybe a neutral, more of a neutral type like Mona Lisa smile. You know what I mean? But uh, here we go. Tudge Tacos. I recommend everybody go to Tudge Tacos in uh, Milwaukee. Check that out. I don't travel. I'm a hermit. I just stay in my little hidey hole. That's how I live my life. Yeah, 7.0 recommended to the sports people. And thank you for watching. You're amazing. You want to see a Muppet? Here's a Muppet. And I love you. And here's a cute little animal of some sort. And you're the best. Thank you.